right, so here's my journey with the Master Cleanse. I've never done a Master Cleanse before. I've read a lot about it. I'm not one that jumps into something without doing some research, checking into things, kind of, um, I want to know all the ins and outs, you know, all the positives, all the negatives, get all the supplies, and then I'll jump in. And the biggest thing for me was, <clears throat> I'm a busy mom, finding 10 days to know that I need to stay at home and rest and take care of my body. So um, that is happening this summer. And so it's going to, um, Master Cleanse is going down this week at my house and I'm excited to share with you. So what is the Master Cleanse? So follow this book and get this book by The Complete Master Cleanse by Tom Woloshin. And he is, um, he also has been on, I listened to some podcasts that he had. He was guest on some podcasts. And the main reason behind this, um, and, and the man that created the lemonade diet, um, it was like created back in the 20s and then the 40s. And then he wrote this book in the 70s. So this is not some little fad thing that's just kind of come along. This is an intense cleanse for those people that are looking to kind of reset their body to, to, to help their body mentally, emotionally, physically, overall. And so those people that I know that have done it have so much of a great spiritual awareness afterwards and mindset afterwards. Um, and that's just a little nugget of what I'm wanting. Um, also, people have done weight loss, um, but I'm mostly looking for um, inflammation to be gone in my body. Um, I have um, some severe uh, breathing issues. And um, this last year in 20, the end of 2020, um, we had COVID and it seems like it, it got kind of got worse. I feel sluggish, more sluggish than that. Um, I did have Lyme's disease in 2018 and I was able to do a cleanse then. And I did a sugar detox and I drank celery juice and I did a major overhaul on a cleanse then. I was able to get Lyme's disease out of my body. There's many testimonies that this will rid your body of Lyme's disease. Um, and so that kind of um, being that that was three years ago, it makes me wonder if um, any underlying issues will flare up and, or if they would, if they have flared up since I've had COVID. That's where I feel sluggish. I feel you no know, energy. I feel inflamed. Um, I sleep well, but I do want more energy. Um, but the main purpose of it is to reset the body. So what do you expect on the master cleanse? Well, in each one of the chapters in here, it goes into great detail of different things. And one of those is what to expect. So definitely your bowels are going to detox. And so that's why you need to kind of stay close to home for 10 days um, because your bowels are going to be um, on the toilet more often um, than normal. Bad breath. Um, they say that, you know, it could cause a lot of bad breath and it could make your tongue feel hairy because the, the yeast and the candida in your body is like dying off. My tongue is not pink. And so that's a sign that I have candida in my body. And so, and I believe it's there, it's in my lungs mostly. Um, sinus drainage and mucus. And, um, and that's where I'm thinking, I think that's going to be my biggest thing because I think that I've got to clean my lungs out really and my sinuses and stuff out. So um, a lot of people just cough more um, and they have a lot of drainage, but those with the best results have the best positive outlook. They have affirmations. They have a plan. They don't just wing it. This is not something that you can just wake up and go, oh, I'm going to do that. Don't watch this video and go, oh, I'll do that. No, get the book, read it thoroughly. I have highlighted in here. I have gone through, I've highlighted, I've taken notes. I have watched um, YouTube videos of people that have done it and not had success and done it and had success. I've um, followed a, um, a lady that she and her husband did it. And I kind of watched their video diary. I have listened to his teachings on podcast. So I feel like I'm ready. <laughs> And I'm not one of these people that just like jumps into something just because everybody else is doing it. And so, um, but when I do something, I want you to hear my story and I want you to learn from what I learned from it and how I feel. So that's why I'm doing this video is before I do it. 
So you can see how I look. You can see inflammation in my face. You can, you can, you can hear my wheezing. I'm wheezing all the time. It seems like more and more. And so, um, I, um, in the heaviest I've been, I'm not pregnant. And so, um, I'm over 200 pounds. I, I I'll, I'll be vulnerable and, and transparent with you. I weigh 206 pounds is the heaviest I've been, uh, not pregnant. Um, and I, I walk and I work out and, and I still, and I eat good and I still keep gaining weight. So for me, that's where I feel like I need to do a cleanse. I've, there's something internally that I've got to get out of my body. Um, kind of a wake up call for me was when I took my seven-year-old for his well checkup last year. And the doctor said, oh, well, you had gestational diabetes when you were pregnant with him. So you realize six, seven years down the road, that actually can turn into type two diabetes for the adult if they don't have their weight under control. And where she's sitting in the doctor's office for my child, like his checkup, but I'm like, mind your business. Are you calling me fat? You know, but that planted a seed in my head, kind of like, well, you better take care of yourself. And so then just conversations with my kids and my husband, they need me. I need to be here. I feel like my health is not what it should be. So either make a change or continue to live that way. So I am choosing to make a change. I believe that starting the master cleanse is just a start in this change towards the right direction. Okay, so how does it work? What goes down on the master cleanse? So smooth move laxative tea, or you can buy the, the smooth move laxative capsules. I have chosen the tea and you'll drink this the night before your cleanse. Also the day, so two days before your cleanse. So it's, it's almost like you need about a half a month to block out, okay? You're gonna do a, um, a high fat diet and you're gonna use less um, caffeine. Then the next day you're gonna do mostly just fruit, uh, mostly just vegetables, vegetable broth, beef broth, and no caffeine. Then the next day you start the cleanse. That way you don't wanna do this. Um, and I saw this once and I see it not just once, I see it usually every you know, end of December. People are like, I'm going on that diet tomorrow. So they eat this huge pizza and all this cookies and all this stuff. Well, let me get rid of all this. Or they wanna eat everything in their pantry that's junk before they do it. And so, you know, things like that. Yeah, just start getting rid of stuff in your pantry. But at the same time, when you make a conscious effort to do something like this, like I still have to cook for my family. So I have made a list of very easy prep things and the kids can even help with, or um, it's something very easy that I can, you know, pop in the oven, put on the grill, you know, uh, Instapot, and then that way they can eat, but I'm also doing the cleanse and I don't feel like I'm, um, I don't feel like I need to eat. And so, um, so with that, so you'll do the night before you start your cleanse, you'll do the smooth move. So like two days up, you're kind of prepping your body, then do the smooth move. Then you can do this in the mornings, the, the tea, um, which I'm probably going to do um, about the, the book recommends um, a lot of times starting on day one, doing the salt flush and the salt bath, and then days three and four doing the salt and then seven and eight doing the salt. And what a salt bath is, it's a quart of water and two teaspoons of Himalayan salt. That's a lot of salty water. That's the only thing that I'm like hesitant. I'm like, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to drink this. I'm wondering, but with that, I have a very dear friend who um, had colon um, cancer and rectal cancer last year. And she was on chemotherapy pills and did radiation and had zero side effects, zero side effects. And her journey of faith is kind of what has kind of inspired me too, because we were even talking about this cleanse the other day, but her journey of faith is to say, and she would take those chemo pills and she would say, okay, I consecrate this. This is, these are going to act like bullets that are going into my body and get rid of all the cancer that's in my body that doesn't need to be in my body. And I'm going to get rid of it. And God is going to take that out. 
And she, every single time, every single time. So my plan is to do is what she did. When I see this quart of salty water, I'm going to say, okay, God, you know, my plan, you know, my purpose, you know, my why behind this. I am praying that you will use this and not allow me to focus on what it tastes like or what this is, you know, but just allow me to realize the cleansing process that this is allowing my body to go through and how miraculous I'm going to feel afterwards. So that's my ins inspiration. Shout out to my friend, Audra. And um, so then after you do the salt flush or the salt bath or the laxative tea about an hour, so it says 30 minutes, set the salt bath, 30 minutes to an hour and a half, and you'll have a bowel movement. Then you start drinking your lemonade and you need to drink at least six glasses of lemonade a day. So that is gonna, I've got these little mason jars is what I'm going to be using. So the juice of a lemon, and it's usually about a half of a lemon. And then um, maple bee syrup. I am choosing to use coconut nectar because it's a lower glycemic index. So you can use maple bee syrup, which is hard to find too. This was easier to, for me to find coconut nectar and cayenne pepper with eight ounces of water. So the lemon and the coconut nectar, all these you'll put together with the eight ounces of water. Now in a few days, I'm going to show you how I juice it and what I do. Um, but today I'm just kind of giving you my prep tips. I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know what's going to, I have, I did juice one just to taste it. Cause I thought, let me just taste this and see what this is going to be like. And it tastes pretty sweet. So I do like that. Then after you do that for as many days as you wish, you ease back into a vegetarian diet and, um, and you'll drink like an orange juice the first morning and things like that. So when is the best time? Like I said, like 10, 15 days, maybe a half a month, just to block out, not necessarily stay at home and just sit and do nothing. My plan is cleaning out cabinets, closets. And so you might even see a change in this room. And so, but um, going in, cleaning out closets, cleaning out drawers each day as I fill up to it. Um, the most important thing is to rest, to be able to clear my bowels when I need to, and then also be able to um, be at home and have these things and these items that I need, but also be able to just rest if I need to. But I feel like when I'm up and I'm cleaning and I'm doing something diligent, that's helping my body. Uh, if, if my body is moving around, that's helping the lymphatic. Now, if I uh, don't feel like it, then I can rest. I can, I can lay down and also sunshine. Sunshine is, is going to be the key. I'm going to do some stretching. I have the Peloton app. I'm going to do some stretching and some yoga exercises every day, 10 to 20 minutes, just to get my body going. I feel like my lymphatic system is, 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 is um, kind of slow. Um, I don't feel like I am. So I'm going to do some lymphatic brushing um, before my shower and then also taking a detox bath. And my detox bath consists of four cups of baking soda, four cups of Epsom salt, four cups of peroxide. And I'm gonna be doing that probably every other day, maybe every night, just depends on how I feel. And um, then also, um, because I love Young Living, you can incorporate essential oils into this. So there's a few that I'm going to add to my lemonade to kind of change up the flavor every so often. I love Cinnamon Bark Vitality. I love spearmint, absolutely love the taste of spearmint and tangerine. So um, adding that to your drink is actually acceptable. And then I'm gonna add one capsule of longevity, uh, 10 drops in a capsule every single day because longevity is actually um, very great in helping your body feel younger, look younger, all the things. Um, also, you can take a enzyme. So I'm going to do the detox zyme, and the detox zyme is going to help my body. And mineral essence, you can take mineral essence. Um, the grape bee maple syrup or the coconut nectar, it's putting the minerals in your body that you're uh, maybe deficient in. And so adding the mineral essence with that is really going to help get those minerals that you need. And so um, the detox enzymes are gonna help to kind of 
almost act as a scrubber to scrub everything out with that cayenne pepper and everything. Get, get all the stuff that doesn't belong out um, of your body. And so, all right, so here we go. I will keep you posted. I will um, be keeping a diary of this and, and letting you know exactly how this is going to go. And um, so I look forward to uh, sharing with you soon. And so, um, so stay posted and ask me any questions, feel free to message me.